Hola, ¿cómo están? Nos encontramos en Centro Parque, donde acaba de finalizar la conferencia Inteligencia Artificial, el fin de la privacidad, organizado por Diario Financiero y Accenture, que tuvo como principal expositor a Michal Kosinski, psicólogo y académico de la Universidad de Stanford, quien nos acompaña aquí unos momentos para poder profundizar más en su exposición. Hi, Michal, ¿cómo estás? Estoy muy bien, gracias por tenerme aquí, es un gran honor. You're welcome. Uh, well, we live in this, we live in the information era, uh, witnessing these technological revolutions of uh, big data and artificial intelligence. Uh, what's the role of the so-called digital footprint, our digital footprint, in all this? Well, the data that we are generating while using internet products and services is providing, is fueling, you may say, the ability of AI and uh, other uh, algorithms to understand us better mm -hmm. and hence make sure that uh, the products we're using are better adjusted that uh, we are uh, helped with choosing our careers jobs products to buy but on the other hand digital footprints that we're leaving behind may enable computers to manipulate us uh, better than uh, potentially even humans can manipulate each other as a negative consequence, as you say, is this the end of privacy? It, it, it can turn into that uh, eventually? Or we are already living or facing the end of privacy? I think we are certainly in the beginning of this uh, process. So humans are leaving an increasing amount of digital footprints behind while using digital products and services. And computers are really good and getting better at turning those digital footprints into very accurate predictions of our intimate traits and future uh, behavior. Also, it's really difficult to control our data. Uh, data knows uh, no borders. It's very difficult to le create legislation that will protect our right uh, to own and control our data. Moreover, even if somehow magically we were given full control over our data, there's still a lot that we want to share. Like, I want my tweets to be public. I want my blog to be public. And this is already enough for yeah, a good that, algorithm to predict my intimate traits. Yeah, that, uh, well, uh, you already like read my mind a bit. So uh, I was going to ask, uh, is there some sort of contradiction in that? Because uh, we want privacy, but at the same time, we want certain things about our public, uh, private life story to be public. Is there a contradiction in that? Well, I think that the problem is a bit deeper than that. So obviously, everyone knows to reveal some information about themselves. The problem is that a computer algorithm can look at the data you are willingly revealing and go deeper than that. Reveal data that you think you're not revealing. So let's say your political views. You may want to share your opinions on books that you like or movies that you watch, but you may never have never discussed your political views with anyone online or offline. Yet a computer, just by looking at your books that you have read and movies that you have watched and other types of behavior will be able to very accurately predict what your political views are. Is it a high, much, is, is it a high pay to cost to give this much power to uh, these technologies? Well, in, a more val in, more, in a more valuable note, of course. Well, first of all, I don't really think that we have much choice. Mm -hmm. Those algorithms are solving so many of our societal problems, are improving our lives in so many ways, are making our lives uh, longer and better and more fulfilling. Uh, that it's basically going to be difficult for humanity to, to suddenly give up Facebook, give up Google, mm -hmm. give up uh, algorithms that are working in healthcare mm -hmm. uh, or helping us to run countries and governments. Mm -hmm. But a byproduct of this digitalization of our lives and increased role of al algorithms is that uh, we are losing our privacy. And um, I don't think there's, uh, there's going back. back. And I'm not happy about it, but uh, I think we have to accept this yeah. consequence. So according to your vision, this is uh, an out-of-control train we can get off even, even if we want to at this point. That's correct. It's very much like, uh, like other forces of nature, like tornadoes or earthquakes. We can all agree that we dislike tornadoes and earthquakes. We can make them illegal. We can give everyone a right to opt out from a tornado. <laughs> but guess what? It will not stop uh, tornadoes from coming. And the very same... Uh, thinking, I believe, applies to privacy.